What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have enjoyed the last few videos and all that. Today um, is Monday, it's Labor Day, and my great uncle's friend Victor is actually heading down here, supposedly. Should be here um, this afternoon from uh, up north, kind of like northwest part of the state near uh, near Laughlin, Nevada, uh, Bullhead City area, Bullhead City, Arizona. It'll be fun. We might go grab some food and just, you know, see where the day what it brings. Um, got work tomorrow. So. What's up guys? So just sat down. Mostly done with today's workout. Did a full body circuit actually as far as you know the weights. Um, upper body I did bicep curls, sh shoulder shrugs, uh, shoulder press, overhead press, whatever it is. Um, dumbbell squats. Those are fun because I'll squat. You know I'll have the dumbbell and then come up and then lift the dumbbell up above my head and then you know repeat so as a rep and I uh, do a few sets of those three or four Alrighty guys so I'm just adjusting our hot water heater here it's been hotter than hell it's been on B and as you can see on the scale here um, I'm probably gonna turn it down two notches we can always turn it back up um, but I'm gonna put it on just on hot so right here because uh yeah it's been boiling <laughs> so that should be fine for now I'm gonna head inside we got some lasagna cooking on the in the oven right now. Over here at Frank's Deli getting a corned beef or actually a Reuben sandwich. Pretty cool spot that's been open since like the 50s or 60s. It's a family owned business so we come here once in a while. Reuben. Big sandwich. Okay, half and half uh, lemonade. We're gonna go up to corned beef. Range. Oh, you are there? No. Made a little bit of iced coffee. Got the coffee maker here. And Ralph's friend Victor um, locked himself out of the car on accident, so they had to call AAA. So, but yeah, I haven't drank this particular brand of coffee cold yet. I've only had it hot because that's how my great uncle fixes it. And he only likes Folgers coffee, which is decent. There's better coffees out there. I, I like to try new things. Some people don't. Some people are more picky. Added a little bit of cream and sugar. He, he drinks his black. I'll drink it black once in a while. Let's give it a taste test. Not bad. It's a little watered down due to the, the ice, but it hasn't really melted much. And um, you could use a cocktail shaker and make iced coffee that way. Just gotta be careful that the lid doesn't fly off. For all, that's, that adds something to it. Might add a little bit more um, cream and sugar, but overall, iced coffee, good stuff. So we're fixing up some orange chicken here. Just one bag, it came with two. So we already did these first two steps. Oven's preheating to 400, 400 degrees. Got the sauce packet thawing out and some warm water. We're gonna put this one bag of chicken on here. As soon as that light goes off, it's done being, it's done with the preheating and we'll put it on bake. Throw it in there for 15, 18 minutes. Throw it in a bowl, mix it together. We'll be all set. There's um, Victor's 1998 Honda Accord. He has other vehicles as well. He just got that one recently and he does a lot of work on cars for anything from the minor stuff all the way up to engine rebuilds. And then my truck, um, it just needs a paint job. Other than that, you know, it's got the new tires, it's got new the new water pump that I installed myself, new radiator. I also installed that myself, as well as the thermostat. Set that on bake, 15, 18 minutes. Now I'm gonna go out to the truck, and um, I got the lighting situation pretty much set and dialed in but as far as the audio just using the built-in mic so we do have a external microphone via bluetooth that would work either with a camera or with my phone here or whatever so we're gonna go get that i remember exactly where it is i haven't used it for a little while but i also have the podcast microphone i had two of them but the other one i kind of took apart because um, i was using it for like a stand for a tablet and i just ended up buying a, a tablet stand anyway all right so i was looking through my bag here and uh, I found it. I was thinking I lost a, you know, a piece or one of the necessary components here, but it's all here. Oh, my friends, I'd say those are done. Sizzling. Left them in there for about 16 minutes, so we're gonna put them in this bowl and mix them up with this orange chicken sauce, and we'll be all set. Finished product. 
you know, let's see if this is good as Panda. Because Panda Express ain't bad, although my great uncle calls it plastic Chinese food, which I, you know, kind of, I mean, it's good, but it's like Americanized Chinese food, kind of like how pizza is Americanized Italian food, as far as the pizza we make here. He likes, uh, I believe it's called General Yang's or something. It's a Chinese restaurant out here. Crispy, good flavor. Yeah, I give that eight out of 10. I drink this Diet Pepsi more for the caffeine content than, you know, I don't really drink a whole lot of soda and I usually get the Dr. Pepper Zero. Other than that, I mainly drink water, sometimes 2% uh, milk, um, protein shakes, sometimes some iced tea. Sorry this video has been a little bit all over the place. Um, you know, I like to get the filming in when I can. And uh, sometimes it's good to go back to the basics is what I've learned. Like you make things too complicated sometimes and like if you just, like as far as filming goes, you don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment and you know, spending a bunch of money and in investing in it. You know, start off with the basics and, and build from there. Same thing with this build out on my truck, the uh, camper conversion. I mean, starting with pretty much the bare minimum um, and then building it up over time. You know what'll give this a good kick? Some of that Frank's, here it is, Frank's Red Hot. Sriracha would be good too. So we got a new dash cover for the truck here. Uh, I've just got to Velcro it down. I have that double-sided Velcro tape. So getting it all lined up here, but uh, yeah, definitely it'll protect the dash from any sun damage or, you know, since it's plastic, don't want it to crack. Alrighty guys, well, take two because I watched the footage back and the uh, microphone wasn't on. So just a bunch of static. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and tuning in for another video. I will have more content coming your guys' way. Going to keep it rolling with the videos and check out the backlog of content. We got the camper build. We got a lot of good stuff that, you know, and it, going forward, it's just going to keep building and, and compounding. So uh, if you could like the video, comment below. And then if you could donate it all to the channel, it would help us out a lot. Every dollar counts. So even if it's just a dollar, five bucks, 10 bucks, 20, whatever, um, I will give you guys a shout out in a video as well as if you have any Q and A questions, you know, you guys will be higher priority and, um, any you know i can give you guys a shout out on instagram as well so i have cash app i have venmo i have paypal so much appreciated and uh that being said thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one if you guys have any content suggestions ideas or anything uh message me on probably on instagram at keegan nation link is in the description box below and if you want any graphic design work done, I can send you my prices on that. Video editing, I can do Photoshop, I can do any graphic design work, whether that's thumbnails, uh, YouTube channel, art banners, um, or just anything that you guys need or, or have in mind. So thanks for watching and keep on trucking.